Gerald, are you there? I'm here, Jeff. Is this going to turn into trends, Salenti leaks next, or what? This is uh, <laughs> this whole thing is uh, getting to be weirder all the time. The State Department apparently has cleared all of the WikiLeaks documents, none of which really pose any kind of a national security threat. They're rather like the National Enquirer, in a way, in terms of government leaks. Tell us more. Well, if you go to our website, and I'm on Fox, they sent a satellite up here, and of course I'm only looking into the camera, and they have four guys out there trying to destroy me, because what I'm saying when the WikiLeaks leaked was that what they were saying was what a bunch of buffoons, lightweights, losers, liars, crooks and thieves that we call our presidents, prime ministers, and secretaries of this and that. And they want to cover it up. Mm -hmm. And they're coming out with the bogus line that endangers our people out there that are doing special work to keep us all safe. Oh, yeah. You know, I've heard that one before. I said to them. And they have a CIA guy on there giving that look, you know. This guy, he's right out of a, a comic book. You know, the squid jaw, the blonde hair. Yeah, central And casting. a lot of BS. Indoctrinated since he's a little boy. And still a little boy. Just a brave kid. guy with all his pals behind him. And they're trying to cover this up because this is a... It's a hydrogen bomb of truth. What, a, what the world stage is one big Berlusconi. It's a bunch of losers out there that are posing as these people that know more than we do, and you find out what a crowd it is. The same jerks you knew in high school and college. Same ones. The ones that wanted to be the class presidents and the head of the student councils. The suck-ups, the brown noses, the glad-handers. Now you call them Obama, Clinton, Bush. You could call them Sarkozy. You could call them Merkel. You could call them every one of them a jerk, a loser, and a lightweight. Yep. And what they're doing is they're intimidating the people so that they continue to look up to them, and they're trying to bring down this guy, Assange. Think of it. Think of it, Jeff. You pointed it out. This guy, you Interpol, they put out Interpol to find this guy mm -hmm. because he didn't use a rubber. I mean, what a setup. Send predator drones into sovereign <laughs> countries and kill innocent people. Yeah. Hey, that's okay. Sure. Start wars for fake reasons and sell your books like on fake information. That's all right. Well, speaking of millions, we've killed uh, at least two million in Iraq and two to three million in Afghanistan, but that's okay. Here's a story that uh, just came in a little while ago. Uh, Senator Mitch McConnell called Assange a high-tech terrorist. Now, that was on Meet the Press, okay? There's a meet real the problem. Meet the Press. Yeah. Meet the suck-ups. Meet the suck-ups. Meet the suck -ups. I, I concur. I concur. Uh, he said if it's found that Assange that hasn't violated the law, then the law should be changed. Hey, there we go he again. says so. Yep, there he hey, is. Hey, McConnell says so. The guy that's been paid off by every corporation, every business person nah. that wants a favor. Oh, Senator McConnell. Here, let me make this really clear for anybody that can't understand the deal. Here's the way it works. All right. Go to work at a job that you hate. But you're taking the job because you need the money. Yeah. You have to pay the bills. And your boss is a jerk and you can't stand your co-workers. I don't want to hear any complaining. You have to stay late. And then make that commute back. And then feed your kids some garbage that you have that you call food. And then call it a night and start the next day. The great American lifestyle, Gerald. And what listen, are you talking about? I don't want any back talk, but I want your money. I'm going to take your money, and I'm going to give it to my friends. That's right. And if you don't like it, I'm going to get the goon squad after you. You just turn over your money, and I'm going to give it to my buddy over there, Ben Blowhard Benanke. And he's going to distribute it to all the banks and all the businesses and all the hedge funds, and they're going to borrow billions and trillions at zero interest rate. Did you get any of this out on Fox? I got a lot of it out Good on man. Fox. Good and man. And they tried snowballing me, and what a 
bunch of disgusting individuals. And I ask them, and I put this out there, have any one of them come up to my place and we'll do live television face-to-face with me controlling the dials Uh and we'll see a different (laughs) show. Yeah, you got it. This is all another exercise in keeping the sheep confused. Fortunately, a lot of them are waking up, but how much so, I don't know. Nobody really knows because we can't properly assay the flock anymore. They keep us all confused. But misdirection, you bet. There is a lot of talk about these WikiLeaks, which are, again, uh, sanitized and they're not doing any damage at all, being used to justify the Patriot Act to control the Internet. And maybe that's where it's going. Because these people who are calling for Assange to be executed and put on trial for treason are our elected legislators and representatives in Washington, folks. They're not some drunks in a bar somewhere. This is they the, are drunks in a bar. Well, they should They're the legislators. You got it. The information simply stoked existing flames by airing geopolitical dirty laundry, nothing more. These things have been all cleansed. There's no question about that. Everybody knows that now who studied it. There's just nothing there, Gerald. Now they're threatening that they're going to release documents that may harm, God help us all, the Bank of America, and then they may reveal the truth about UFOs and ETs. That's that's next up. Nothing of any substance. Zero. I think this is very big. And what it is, it's the beginning of Journalism 2.0. And WikiLeaks is really showing what it could all be. And there are going to be many people, those that are afraid to stand up and speak out, that will leak things. Let's hope they leak some things of substance. Uh, and, and, but there, there is substance to this, Jeff, in the sense that what it does, it confirms what many people believed that are on the inside. So, yeah, we know that Berlusconi, you know, is, is one burlesque show. Sure he is. But when you hear the ambassadors say it, it's a different story. Well, it confirms the uh, the smut and the uh, the dregs who are posing as our international leaders. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Let's look what's going on in Europe as we're speaking. They just started stoning the lovely Prince and Camilla. The mm-hmm. students are revolting because of the increase tuition. In, in tuition, three mm-hmm. times the amount. Mm-hmm. In Italy yesterday, and for the last several days, the students have been taking to the streets. You're going to start seeing it happening more in Ireland and in Spain. Figure it out. Young people, 18 to 26 in Spain, 50% of them are unemployed. They know the deal. The deal is this. It's called austerity measures. They have no jobs Their parents are losing their pensions, losing their homes. They just lowered the minimum wage in Ireland. Oh, those wonderful Irish. And what have they done? They've raised the value-added taxes, the VAT taxes. Why? To bail out the banks. Always the The same. The people know what's going on. Class warfare has Mm -hmm. begun. We said the bailout bubble will bust. And when it does, you're going to be seeing the first signs of the next great war. Because when all else loses, they take you to war. And if you want to see how angry the people are, look at those stiff upper lip Brits. They are outraged, the young people. And here at the same time, they're promoting the royal wedding. This isn't even let them eat cake. It's let them eat nothing. Right. And it's going Uh, on worldwide. We're seeing the beginning of a global economic crisis and a global class warfare that's going to lead to the Great War. The joke of the term austerity has got to be laid to rest and exposed for what it is. This is indentured servitude. There are over 150,000 young Irishmen who are going to leave Ireland because there's no future there anymore. 75% of the British have said that they'd like to leave Great Britain, but they don't know where the hell to go. Uh, These people are finished. They're done. European Economic Union is dissolving. Agreed. You can't fix it by printing more fake money. Well, the British uh, alone is one enormous story, but the Germans are not going to continue to bail out Spain and these other countries. They will not do it. 
They're calling now for the Deutsche Mark to be reinstated. Uh, you're seeing a, a dissolution of the European Union, which is going to gather steam and momentum. It's going to be it's going to be very interesting, if nothing else. One writer said, "Let me quote this: a limited one-time Federal Reserve view." of a secret taxpayer-funded backdoor bailout by a small group of unelected gangsters called bankers. So your money went out the door, a lot of it to European banks, some of it to private billionaires, private individuals. Very little of it went this direction. Talk about theft, Gerald. It doesn't get any bigger. But no one's talking much about that because of the coiffed, bearded Bernanke uh, and his arrangement with the mainstream media. They're not picking this guy apart. He's already threatened the Congress twice when they told him we need to know where the money went. He said no. Sanders was able to get the data dumped finally, and we found out just how corrupt it is. But where's the outrage? I'm not seeing it. Well, there is outrage, and it's not making it to the mainstream because look where the money, you talked about the trillions that were doled out. Who got some of the money? Hey, how about General Electric? You mean the people that own CNBC, NBC? MSNBC, the whole system is rigged. You're not going to hear it on mainstream media. Is it happening in America? Yes. Is it happening at the level it's going on in Europe? No. Why? Look at the Americans. They're fast food fattened. They're genetically modified, hormone replaced. Look at that guy who they used to call brilliant, Larry Summers. That brilliant Obama's Larry Summers. Obama's former chief economic advisor. Mm-hmm. You know what he used to do each day? They used to talk about it in the media. They, with, with great bravado, he used to power his day. he power his way through the day on Diet Coke. This guy's probably his brain's fried with aspirin. Well, I die, certainly aspartame is well known now to be not only a neurotoxin, but a mutagenic carcinogen. They've proven that so as well, So here are the too. people that are running the show. Yeah, I did course. a talk, by the way. Yeah, I'm ready to go on, and I'm sitting with the people, the top people, you know, the COO, you know, the top people. And, and it's around uh, 1030 in the morning, and they're drinking Diet Coke. Well, and I, and I said to him, I said, well, you're supposed to be representing the Olympians. I said, you're drinking this crap? Methyl alcohol, formaldehyde. So what's going, why aren't Americans out in the street? Why aren't they fighting? Yeah. Because they've been beaten down. Has everybody? No. 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 And there's that 20% that we see that's going to be the driving force of change. We're going to see a plague. Uh-huh. We call it the obesity plague. You're going to start seeing a lot of people going under as times get a lot tougher. It's going to be a thinning of the herd. Oh, 2011 is going to be hell on wheels, you bet. Yes, and the strong are going to survive. And when you go back to the last black death in Europe, which an estimated whosever numbers you look at, between 30 and 62 percent of the people Mm -hmm. were killed in Europe from the black death, who survived? The smart, the people that knew how to take care of their health. It created a renaissance. It was a a time of genius. And we believe we're going to see the same thing happen now. There's going to be very difficult times coming ahead. The people that are planning ahead are going to be the ones that survive. And they're going to survive by doing intelligent things. And people that do intelligent things make intelligent decisions. They're not following their leaders. You're on your own. Well, they're not leaders anyhow. anyhow as there are know. no leaders, no, but they're still and... following Democrats and Republicans. Well, they're chasing you know? their tails, Gerald. It's a it's a left right paradigm of uh, absurdity. It's a it's science fiction. It's a joke. It means nothing. It's a continuum. Look, twelve point nine trillion dollars was just fleeced from the American taxpayer. Now, granted, and you made the point. They do not have access to the mainstream media, so they cannot register their outrage. I hope your twenty percent is correct. Uh, I hope to see pitchforks and torches wrapped around the Federal Reserve, uh, which is not federal, nor is it a reserve, as, as we all well know now. Look, the Founding Fathers are spinning in their graves about now. This is not America. It's this not, is not America. It's no. fascism. That's it's right. It's fascism when you see that Janet Napolitano over no. there talking to Walmart employees to come rat us out. It's fascism when you have, you go to the airport 